welcome back guys on another video this is creative crackers not not seven where you can find lots and lots of prototype modules and in this video we are going to make a tricopter and this video is not going to be a one that's making a perfect prototype model this video is just for testing how can we control your prototype model with the potentiometers and in the upcoming series of video we are going to make a semi-automatic tricopter and in the next video we will try to make it a fully automated one but it takes a good long time because there are huge process behind this so first we are going to make this tricopter model with a potentiometer so that we can know how can we operate a potentiometer manually once we are came to know that this is the way that we can handle this product then we can make our coding part a very easy one because we already have done this with a potentiometer and we, if you want to make the drones move forward we are going to make the one potentiometer high another low in such a way that we came to know each and every possibilities that makes the drone to move left right uh, uh, fly higher after doing a dozens of ex experiment we, we may came to know that how it's working and we are just going to implement it in a Arduino Nano or Pro Mini board so that it's the drone can automatically fly, it, fly itself by following such certain commands and uh, make, we can even use a GPS module or a gyroscope module which are cheap available in the markets so that the drone can access the data from the access the data by itself and act accordingly in this drone we are going to this, this way we are going to connect it to all the positive terminals of the motor and all the negative terminals are connected to the battery and in between we are going to place a potentiometer so that we can uh, we can choose how much current should flow through this potentiometer to the wire, to the motor and i am connecting a 1 meter wire to each of the negative terminals and then it will be joined to the potentiometer uh -huh, we have chosen a 10k potentiometer i suggest you suggest you to choose just a 1k potentiometer just don't use 10k potentiometer because it's very high and most of the knob is useless we are just going to use it from 0 to 1k rest of this are simply useless now join all this first terminals in a parallel here i have done it in the wrong way at, fi at, at the final i have show i will show you how to do this and now connect the motor wires in the center and that's it guys see you, sh you should use the same terminal this is the first terminal in parallel connection now join this node directly to the battery just and just to make sure just uh, have a piece of soldering there that's it guys this is okay because i am going to use a power from a 12 volt adapter for that it's mandatory so i have just using it and if you are using a power supply board you can directly use it it's 12 volts and 1 amps adapter that's it now we are going to test it how it's working test one you can see the airflow is the opposite way so we have to change the polarity Oops. i have lost one blade just to make sure how what few more extra blades make sure you don't get hurt like this just try to make it evenly but this kind of potentiometer doesn't work that's it this is the this is going to be a final test and from this I have 
found that you cannot control this with the potentiometer and in the next video i am going to do it the same with the Arduino board because it can i think because it can work who knows let's try and if you like this video just give it a like subscribe to our channel if you did before see you soon in another video stay creative goodbye see you soon in another video.